everyone. Um, hopefully you just watched my how I make my matcha. Um, now I don't always do it sitting on the floor. I just do this in the kitchen, but I wanted to do something special for the video, so that's why I'm down here. Um, I um, want to do just a little how-to video of how I did this with speaking now, because the other video I wasn't saying anything. So I want to do a little like descriptive video where I tell you about how I'm doing everything. Um, and I'm going to be doing this again. Now this, I'm not going to drink this because um, matcha is very high in caffeine. Um, and it's nighttime, so I just, I shouldn't drink it right now. And I've wanted to do a matcha video um, in the day for like, in the morning when I'm actually going to drink it. But I, there's been really, it's been too noisy in my, where I live. Um, oh, I'm sorry about this little thing <laughs> in the video. Okay, so anyhow, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to have to dump this out and then do it again. And I've been drinking a little tiny bit of it, but I just really hope it doesn't make me stay up. But it's just so delicious. Okay. So, the first thing I do, I have to do just a little bit, is I wash the bowl with hot water, and I usually do this, like I heat up the water. Uh, I'll do a video, not of what I just did actually, but what I actually do. So I put in hot water in the bowl, and then like, uh, Usually this is clean. I clean this the I clean this with just in boiling water because it's just touching the tea and the boiling water will kill off anything that was maybe on that. So I have the boiling water in the bowl like that, whatever. Just like a doesn't need to be very much, just a bit. And I usually swish it around the bowl to warm up the bowl and at the same time cool down the water. Hmm, science. Because with green tea, from what I understand, you don't put hot boiling water on it because it can scald the tea, depending on the freshness of the tea. Um, for something like matcha, I have put boiling water on it before and then it gets very bitter. Um, and I don't really like that. So it's bitter because it's being burned a little bit. So I like to cool down the boiling water ever so slightly by I like to agitating it around in the bowl. And these are just bowls I got for Christmas, and I really like them. Um, and then what I usually do, I don't usually have a waste bowl because I reuse my water, and I put that water in here. The bowls are clean, by the way. Oh, that doesn't look so clean. That's because I put the whisk in it. Um, and then I put the matcha. Oh, I can't use that again, can I? Yes, I can. Um... I'll just do a little tiny bit, and I will drink it, so I don't waste it. This is just sort of standard grade matcha. It's not the... you can get some really good quality matcha. This is sort of the, a nice, a rather cheap one. It smells amazing. I store mine in the fridge. And it's so fine. It's like finely ground flour. Very soft to the touch. It's very, very fine. And I tap that into the bowl. And that's that. And then, by then, the water is less than boiling. It's probably around 80 degrees. Fahrenheit or Celsius? Fahrenheit? Celsius. <laughs> um, I put that in the bowl now. Wow. And then using my bamboo whisk, which you can get them online or at tea shops. I'm sure that you can get them from China very cheap. I spent, I got mine from Tivana for $12. 
Um, and I, they sell them at Davis Tea, but it's like $24. So Tivana is cheaper by half. So get it there if you're going to get one. And then you stir it slowly to break up any lumps. And then you whisk it to try and get a foam. And I'm probably not going to get the foam in this. Oh, there's a little bit. Because I didn't put very much matcha. And when you're doing this, try not to touch the bottom of the bowl. And then afterwards you can go like this to pop the bigger bubbles. Now the lighting's not fantastic, but do you see how it turned like this? The foam is bright green. That's good. That's how you know you've done a good job. Like that. That didn't foam up very well. So, not perfect. The bubbles aren't fine. It's great when the bubbles are really, really really fine and they cover just the entire top of the bowl. That's the best. And then you enjoy. Um, you can transfer this to a mug. What's very good and very popular are matcha lattes. Um, so if you have a milk steamer, you can um, like froth, steam, boil the milk or soy milk. I like it with soy milk. Um, and put that in with this. You can make it a little bit stronger too, so you can really taste it and sweeten it if you have to, but I like it just in its own, especially if you're using soy milk, because soy milk has that sort of sweet flavor already. And matcha is very, very good for you. Um, I mean, besides caffeine, it's well, not caffeine, but it is a stimulant that is in tea. So it's finely ground green tea, but usually when you make green tea, you filter out the tea leaves, like you don't actually ingest them. But this, because you're actually dissolving it in the water, you are ingesting the entire tea, like all of the tea itself, so you get all of the antioxidants of that. Um, yeah just makes me feel good inside when I drink matcha. Makes me feel awake, makes me feel happy, I just feel good. That's never a bad thing. Um, unlike co I don't like, I don't drink coffee, um, but this gives me the alertness to get me through the day. And yeah, and then I like clean the whisk just with water and enjoy it. So you can get matcha from tea, like specialty tea shops or Chinese or Japanese markets. Um, I would like to get a nicer, like a higher quality matcha at some point. Um, it's kind of expensive when you think about it, but you don't use very much. I only used a quarter of a teaspoon. That's a quarter of a teaspoon. The other spoon here is just my, my perfect cup, which is I think like a, a teaspoon and a half, and that's for normal tea. And that's it. So, good luck. Um, my feet are going tingly because I'm sitting on them. Enjoy. <laughs>